Hi everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a glow effect on your images. Now first things first is you want to open your image into Photoshop and to do that you want to go to file and open and then once you've selected and loaded it into Photoshop you want to open a new blank layer on top of the photo and you can do that by going to the bottom right hand side of Photoshop and clicking the new layer icon. Then you want to click the paintbrush tool like so which is on the left hand side then you want to go to the top where you see a little arrow that's facing down click that now for this effect you can basically uh, have any paintbrush type that you want it depends on the effect and style that you want to create on your image now the style I'm going to show you is I'm going to be using the calligraphy brushes now if you haven't got them already loaded into Photoshop you click the little arrow that's facing to the right and then click the calligraphy brushes. Now before you click OK you want to click append because if you click OK it's just going to reset all of your brushes to the calligraphy brushes. Now if you click append it's just going to add them brushes to the set that you already have which is much better. So make sure you click append and not OK. Now I don't need to do that because I've already loaded my calligraphy brushes. If I scroll down there we go. Now I'm going to click the 20, and depending on uh, your the basically your image, um, you need to play around with the size. Now I'm going to go for say seven should be okay for this image. Um, so if you're not happy with the size, you can always just go back and change the uh, size of the brush. So after you've done that, then you want to go to window and then go to brush now you want to go to shape dynamics and then you want to make sure that the control is set to pen pressure now after that you want to hide that away you want to go to the pen tool then you want to go to the top and you've got three little buttons at the top you want to make sure that the middle one selected which is paths now if you're going to do what I'm going to do which is a model basically the statue um, you want to start from the top so click once then go down and hold uh, the click and then just drag depending what way you want the curve like so click down again like so keep going until you've got what you want like that now once you've done you want to make sure that you've got your foreground color to set to white and then you want to right click the line then you want to go to stroke path now you want to make sure that you've got the tool set to brush and you may want to make sure that you've got simulate pressure on so once you've done that click OK then you want to click that layer and click delete a few times just to delete the uh, pen lines now you want to double click that layer so once you've done that you'll get a layer style box come up now we're going to add an outer glow so we're going to leave the blend mode set to screen we're going to change the color you can have any color that you wish I'm going to just going to go for bright pink and then we're going to set the spread to 10 and the size to 9 um, obviously as I say again play around with the different options and settings here because depending on your image and the style that you want you know play around with the size because all different kinds there and then we're going to put the uh, counter to half which is the round one like so if that loads there we go and then we're going to add a drop shadow now we're going to put the blend mode to uh, color dodge. We're going to set the distance to a zero. We're going to put the color to a lighter shade of what we originally chose. So a lighter pink for me, depending on your color. And then before we click OK, we're going to save that style so we don't have to keep putting these settings in and in and in, and in again, which gets old. So you want to click New Style and then you want to name that style. So Glow Effect like so then click uh, make sure that you've got include layer blending options included and include layer effects so make sure that 
click OK. Then you want to click OK. Now, you, what you're going to do is we're going to basically there's two ways of doing this. You can take the eraser and take the lines away, so it looks like it's wrapping around him. But if you want to change it at a later date, we're going to add a layer mask. So if you go to the bottom right hand side and select the little button that looks like a camera, like so, you want to make sure that you've got the foreground set to black now. Select the paintbrush. Now we're going to just take zoom in and take the lines out. So like so. Make the brush a bit bigger. Like that. Now I'm just going to do this quickly because you'll have a lot more time on your hands to do this than what I'm doing, like so, like that. Obviously I've mucked up a little bit here, but um, obviously in your one you're going to have a lot more time to play around with this. Now if I wanted to make that again, just go on to a new layer, like so, uh, go to the pen tool going to do it on his arm now so just like that make a couple of curves like so right click go to stroke path uh, brush and simulate pressure on and because we've made our brush um, bigger the line is also going to be bigger like I said so it changes so we're just going to delete them other lines like so double click that layer and then instead of putting all the options in again, just go to style and it'll be the end one that you've selected. Now if you don't want pink, you just go to the outer glow and change the colour. And then that's all you've got to do, you've got all the settings there for you. So let's go to bright blue, like so. Like that. Now obviously the um, brush is a bit too big, so the white stands out more, which you don't want. So all you've got to do is delete that and change the brush size as I said before. So don't just stop there with the lines wrapping round. You can take it one step further. You can basically download any brushes that you want. So something like this, what I made. This is just using a brush. And um, you can get these sort of brushes at brusheasy.com. Now if you go to this site and then just type in glow and go to the brushes section you can download all these different kinds of brushes and then just put the same effect onto these brushes and you can create something like this or something like that or with a bit more in-depth detail you can create something like that with a model and the lines wrapping around him so don't just stop there let the creativity flow and uh, I hope this helped and uh, please comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you next time Bye for now.